And I, I'm not sure why, but Frost Blast has chicken legs now. I'm not entirely sure why. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. How's it going, guys? It's Red, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a complete trailer breakdown of the brand new Vanguard Zombies trailer that just dropped. But before we get into that, if you're new here to the channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome zombies content just like this. Also, make sure to check out the link to my Discord server. It's going to be down in the description below. You can use it to find teammates to play COD Zombies with in any Call of Duty that you want, or you guys can just come and chill with some pretty cool people. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so here is the first official shot that we get in the trailer. Now, it looks like our three people are actually here kind of defending this little area here. So, this makes me kind of wonder if there's going to be, you know, kind of like trials or something like that, similar to what there was in Cold War, and if they are defending this little area, because this definitely looks, you know, something like out of the ordinary, you know what I mean? And another thing that I saw through this trailer that is going to be, you know, kind of repetitive is going to be these dead bodies here, because these look really, really human-like, and usually we don't see dead human bodies in zombies maps, especially Treyarch ones. If we see dead bodies, they're like clearly zombified and stuff like that, but this one, he is clearly like just dead. And it looks like there's going to be like some sort of book or intel next to him. Maybe that is how we do some sort of like side objective or something like that. You know, like we hold our interact button on him and it causes something to happen. Now here we get a first look at one of the, I'm going to call it the special infected for now. Because I, I mean, in this trailer, it doesn't really seem clear what this thing does. But it does give a lot of like tormentor vibes. Which, I mean, like, I really hope it's not just another Tormentor because that would actually be pretty lame. Like, I don't know, we're past Cold War now. Like, just because we're continuing the Cold War story doesn't mean that we have to, you know, just do all of the same stuff again. Like, I really hope there's something unique about this guy. So he's gonna, like, we constantly see him interacting with this, like, golden rod thing. And I think this clearly means he's going to be the antagonist of this new series, him and that forearm demon guy that they showed, you know, in the uh, official little teaser that they did. I think he was, like, yesterday, yesterday or the day before that. So, and as you can see, as soon as he touches this rod, he is just going to be, like, instantly controlled and a little flashback of that four-armed demon that we saw who is probably going to be like kind of like the forsaken just like the big big bad guy and this guy is just going to be like his puppet or something like that now again we see this this white symbol here now we see this symbol all over the trailer and i actually don't know what it means yet i don't think anyone knows like actually what it means yet i'm sure people have speculations and stuff like that but not entirely sure what this means but this little symbol shows up a lot so this is actually a field upgrade which i mean it looks really really cool and this is how they're actually going to be doing field upgrades throughout this entire game you're gonna see other field upgrades like ring of fire and frost blast and energy mine and they're all going to be operated like this now this one i'm actually not sure what it is which gets me actually really excited because this means this might actually be like a new field upgrade because back when the beta first came out the achievements uh got leaked and so we got to see all of the zombies achievements at least for launch and you know they mentioned a bunch of field upgrades like ring of fire energy mine and frost blast stuff like that and it really you know gave me fear that there wasn't going to be like any unique field upgrades in this game and it looks like there might actually be one because i i have no idea what this is and it's not very clear what it does it doesn't really show it in the trailer the rest of them it kind of shows them in action but this one i have no idea so here we are going to get a look at Ring of Fire, and it is like, it's a sword now. But you can see, like, every field upgrade is going to be a bit different with, like, its animation. Because, like, with the mask one, you know, we saw him pulling out the face, and then he, you know, the face does its thing. And now with this one, we are going to get, you know, the guy pulling out the sword for Ring of Fire, and bam... Uh, in this shot, there's actually a lot going on in this shot. We get to see everyone with their field upgrades, and for some reason in this game, the field upgrades are on our back. So this guy's got the purple ring of fire sword, this guy's got the yellow face thing. I'm not exactly sure what that does. And this guy has uh, the blue one, which we are going to see later is going to be Frost Blast. And 
we can see that there are different areas that we can teleport to now i'm not sure if this is like a forsaken situation where you know we can kind of just take all these different paths but no matter what they all lead to the same place or if we actually get a bit of freedom and choosing wherever we want to go kind of like in a outbreak style map and in this shot, we just get a better look at the Frost Blast field upgrade just to see what it looks like a little bit. We'll see more of it later in the trailer. And this is going to be what the teleporting looks like throughout the game. I mean, it's the exact same as in Cold War, which is kind of, you know, but I mean, it's red. It looks more menacing. So again, we see all of our, you know, kind of like people, they're all getting, you know, their backs up against the wall for this objective here. And like I said, this guy looks like another human and it looks like, you know, there's something you can interact with right next to him. So who knows, maybe there's gonna be like these dead guys scattered all across the map and they're gonna have things like Intel or just side objectives for us to do. I'm not sure yet. That's just my speculation and my first take on it, but that would be kind of cool if they did something like that. All right, and there's actually going to be a lot going on in this next shot here. We actually get to see Frost Blast used for the first time. This is going to be Frost Blast, and you can tell because there's, you know, like little ice things going around. And I, I'm not sure why, but Frost Blast has chicken legs now. I'm not entirely sure why. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but I mean, I guess they wanted to do something different. So Frost Blast has legs now. <laughs> And also, there is going to be this head in a cage type of thing. Now, I wonder if this is going to be one of either the Easter egg steps or a side objective that you can get with interacting with those human bodies that I was talking about earlier. And I wonder if this plays, like, you know, just like a similar role to, like, the, the ball from Onslaught. Like, you gotta follow this around, stay close to it, kill zombies near it. But, yeah, I'm not sure why Frost Blast has chicken feet now. So, you know, we can see Frost Blast, you know, just icing them up, doing its thing. So that does confirm it is Frost Blast. So, and now we get our first look at kind of like a bigger open area. This might just be like the central place of the map. It does look really good for training, but outside of that, I don't really know a whole lot. We get another look of this tormenting looking guy, you know, just beelining it to us like normal. And here is actually, for some reason, I didn't want to pause here is shino numa this is 100 percent confirmed shino numa because just like look at these wooden doors and then we are actually going to get a look inside of it later in the trailer but now this has actually got me really excited because if this is indeed just like a remake of shino numa i'm completely okay with that because they did an absolute bang up job on d machine because like d machine started as just knocked you know what i mean but then they like expanded on it and made it like an entire map and if that's what they're doing for shino numa just like expanding on it and just like you know making it its own entire map i'm totally down for that that would be super super cool maybe this is just an area that you can like teleport to because you know we saw like all those teleporters going everywhere and this also could just be like that pre-order bonus that you know Treyarch was talking about the pre-order bonus for pre-ordering vanguard we might just be able to get you know like shino numa and maybe a few other world at war maps in vanguard's mechanics i don't actually know yet but i'm super stoked to at least see shino numa in here and like you know the more we go in here it doesn't look like anything fundamentally changed it just looks like the same map and we get to see energy mine for the first time and i'm gonna rewind that just so you guys can see it again and because like it has a different animation like look so these two balls are going to stay on the ground and then one is going to stay up above like this so i wonder if like after this one explodes these two also explode i i don't know i hope they make energy mine like actually useful in this game like for about 95% of Cold War's lifespan, Energy Mine was just completely and utterly useless. Who knows, it might not actually be trash in this game because it looks like it killed this horde. And this is actually the top part of Shino Numa. You can tell because like, this is like the spawn area and this is like the other side of the wood doors. This is where like the body would always hang, stuff like that. And I wonder what this is. I wonder if this is some sort of mandatory step to do something to like unlock Pack-a-Punch or if this is like an Easter egg step or I'm, if this is just some side objective from like a dead body that we can't see lying around, anything like that. But either way, I'm not exactly sure what they're doing here. I think they might just be defending it, but it's cool to see that they're doing more with Shino Numa other than just like having it there. Oh, here we can see the MG42. I'm really happy to see that make a comeback. That was one of my favorite World at War guns. And here we go. This is going to be our first look at our brand new special infected. This is going to be like the new boss zombie in the map. And he has a um, he has a minigun. 
so you know we got we got zombies with miniguns in this game now so um that's the first ever one that we've ever had i mean at least to my knowledge i mean i don't think we've had another zombie that's had like a gun on him like and maybe in like cod mobile because i don't play cod mobile but i mean that could get slightly annoying it's i guess it's no range no different than just like a ranged attack but i don't know he looks really menacing he has three eyes he's you know and here we get to see Ring of Fire in action, confirm, confirming from earlier that this is, in fact, a Ring of Fire. You can see all of them just, you know, kind of doing their thing. And we can actually see this big and special, special infected boss guy. So I wonder if Ring of Fire is going to block projectiles like it did in the last game, making this guy kind of useless. But here we are. We get to see him in action right here. And we get to see Ring of Fire confirming that it's coming back. So, and here we just get like another cutscene just of, you know, this evil guy that I'm assuming just wants a lot of power. He's rising an army of the undead. I mean, you know, just that thing kind of happens often in the Call of Duty universe. Just some assholes always trying to bring the zombies back to life after we so try so hard to kill them. So, and then we get to see the demon guy with the four arms just kind of behind him. Yeah, I mean, that's a really cool shot. That's really awesome. All right, well, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. That is a full trailer breakdown of the brand new Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies trailer that just released about 93 minutes ago. And as always, if you happen to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome Vanguard Zombies content just like this. Also, make sure to check out the link to my Discord server. It's gonna be down in the description below. You can use it to find teammates to play COD Zombies with in any Call of Duty that you want, or you can just come and chill with some pretty cool people. And until next time, it's Ben Red, and I'll see you guys in the next video.